Marcus Conti reporting on the obvious, right? If you, people want what they can't have, right? If you make something illegal, people want it more, right? You remember with the mob in, in, the, in the 19, I guess, the roaring 20s, they made alcohol illegal, right? Prohibition. And, and uh, the mob got so strong. They made so much money, right? We gave them the market, right? We gave the mob the market in alcohol, and they made money hand over fist, right? Because people wanted alcohol. It's not gonna, you're not going to stop it. So the same pattern, the same thing is happening with all drugs, right? Drug is a drug is a drug, they say. A drug is a drug is a drug, right? So, so I'm not an advocate of drugs, no, no, no doubt. I think that, um, I think that it's, dr- you know, even pot is, in my view, s- sort of kind of dangerous. It burns you out. It makes you foggy. It makes you... Uh, not able to be as articulate or it's just my opinion. It's also my experience with, with um, dabbling in substances, but nonetheless making it a crime, which uh, Mexico just ruled that uh, actual possession, actual use of, of narco of drugs is actually unconstitutional. And you could make an argument for that in the United States, that it's the it it um, the the pursuit of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, right, is in the Constitution. So there is a there is a constitutional argument to be made as well that uh, drugs should be legal in the United States. But but nonetheless, Mexico, Mexico, Mexico. Oh, Mexico. So so here's the president. <laughs> Ooh, the president of Mexico. This is Newsweek. Mexico wants to decriminalize all drugs and negotiate with the United States to do the same. Now, ever since I was a kid, I always it always occurred to me that decriminalization, right, is is the way to go. Right, the drugs were in the schoolyard; they weren't in the drugstore. Right, drugs, drug store. Maybe make a drug store. Right, it's a store where you go and you buy your drugs. Right, like the like the liquor store. Put it next to the liquor store. <laughs> and put it next to the cigarette store, right? So anyway, it, I, I mean, it just it seems common sense. When I was a kid, that people want what they can't have. The the mystique of of illegal substances. You see it in the movies. Ah, 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 ah right. The mystique in the movies. It was all. It was all. It was promoted, right? It's promoted throughout my whole life, anyway, and at this tender age. So here we go. So here's the uh, here's the news. Mexico's president released a new plan last week that called for radical reform to the nation's drug laws and negotiating with the United States to take similar steps. United States, well, we're already doing it to some degree. The, uh, in some states, ma- medical marijuana, but Mexico, just take the lead. Don't wait for the United States. Drag them with you. The plan put forward by the administration of the President uh, AMLO, initials AMLO, President AMLO, is is doing the right thing, calls for decriminalizing illegal drugs and transferring funding for combating the illegal substances to pay for treatment programs. It's so long overdue. It's so well documented that if rather than treat people like criminals, right, and, and they come right out and just do the same thing because there was no, because they're, they're criminals, right? That's what criminals do, right? You're training people to be criminals. <laughs> when you treat them, right, if there is actually a problem, if someone has a problem, most of the problems are drugs, are legal problems, right? So if people have legal, they won't have legal problems anymore because it's, it's legal, right? but they'll still have a substance abuse problem. And if that is the case, that's where the money should should go, right? So uh, the war on drugs has escalated uh, the public health problem posed by currently banned substances to a public safety crisis, right? So AMLO puts out a, uh, a policy, right? The document says that ending prohibition is the only real possibility to address the problem. Right? This should be pursued in a negotiated manner, both in the bilateral relations with the United States and in the multilateral sphere. Ah, well, what about the wall? We need a wall. The drugs are going to pour in. And fucking Mexico's making it legal to smoke a fucking drug attack. Right? Now Mexico's going to make it legal, right? You don't, so now what? You're going to, 
I'll build a wall to keep out legal legal stuff. Hey, like just make it like trade, like bananas or fruit or co- coca beans or fucking, you know what I mean? Just make it legal, man. Tear down, Mr. Gorbachev. Tear down this wall. Right, build a wall. Fuck it, man. Build a wall, man. You gotta keep the drugs apart into the country. The drugs, they're pouring into the country. We don't know who these people are. They're murderers and rapists. I guess not, man. It's just a... It's propaganda is what it is. Drug reform advocates have welcomed AMLO's plan. Right? Good. Uh, it reflects a shift in thinking on drug policy. Yeah, it does. The war on drugs has been extremely costly, not just in terms of government resources, but also human lives. And it has failed to accomplish its objectives. Prohibition policies have, by and large, co- uh, by and large caused more harm to people and communities than the drugs they were intended to eliminate. And they haven't come anywhere close to eliminating supply and demand. No, they've actually made it worse. Like, the, like I said, the, the mob, right? It's, it's, the, more, the, the more illegal it, it remains, uh, the more people want it. And then the guns come out because that's how you settle the dispute. If it's illegal, it's and the government is not, you know, there's no, there's no commerce, legal commerce, right? In other words, if you get, if you're growing or manufacturing a, a drug, and there's a problem, you take the problem into your own hands because you can't run to the police and say they just stole my uh, ten pounds of heroin. Right, so, uh, listen to some of the stats. The I- IDPC report found that there have have had been. A hundred and forty-five percent increase in drug-related deaths over the previous ten years. It's going up. Deaths of drugs are going up, not down. The number of deaths reached an estimated four hundred fifty thousand in two thousand fifteen alone. Drug overdose deaths have also skyrocketed. Wow. So, Mexican Mexico's president is right, rightfully identifying one of the major drivers of violence and corruption in his country: the prohibition of drugs. Whoa, this is like, this is like we're, we're, we're living in, uh, it sounds like we're living in the age of, of uh, prohibition in the roaring 20s, where it's just about to go legal. It's just about to all come crashing down. But again, you know, in the U.S., we still have uh, uh, marijuana, for example, is still a, a, a class A, whatever, controlled substance on the federal books. Got to remove all that shit. The president can do, Obama should have done it, but. Trump is Trump. Forget about Trump. Uh, Got to get rid of the fucking guy. The next step is to translate words into action by pursuing both a domestic and international agenda of drug policy reform, ground uh, grounded in respect for human rights. Right. So, uh, Amel's policy plan should have come shouldn't have come as a surprise to Mexican voters. During his campaign and after winning election, he has consistently called for major reforms to his country's, um, f- for his country's prohibition on drugs. Mexico's Supreme Court also issued... Uh, so so he, he campaigned on it and he won. Uh, he won the election and now he's, he's, he's holding true. I love this flag, man. <laughs> the... the, uh, the, the you know, the, the United the Cannabis States of Mexico. More and more countries are developing programs for regulating cannabis for medical use. Yeah, they are. So Canada, blah, blah, blah. William Barr said, fuck you. Still favors one uniform federal rule against marijuana. We're, we're getting dragged into this. We're getting dragged along. We're, we're come lately to this policy, right? It's long been known. For example, in Holland. Holland had legal sort of semi-legal weed for 50 years, right? Leading, coming out of the 60s, right? When we went into decrim- we went into criminalizing stuff through Nixon, right? We took that turn into, you know, locking up the hippies. Europe, parts of Europe went in the other direction. I don't know if it's still the case. Rumor has it that, that, every, that, that everything in Europe is getting cracked down on, but uh, certainly the effort was there. Article talks about civil asylum, mushrooms being... Uh, recently possibly decriminalized in Denver. Well, that's a good that's a good show, right? Again, I'm no I'm no, you know, advocate of drug use. I think that all drugs to some degree are dangerous. 
but it's the it's the violence and the mystique that makes them even more dangerous is what I what I believe what I've always believed how the US should respond to AMLO's plan remains to be seen globally however it is clear the conversation around drugs has shifted well maybe so um so congressman blah, 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 in in Oregon co-founder of the blah, blah 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 right so so there so it looks like it's taken a shift right so what do you think i think I think I think people should have, you know, legal, you know, have a have a choice. Have a choice to consume, to enter into thy body what thy please. Right? Now, is it is it and everybody see the argument is always the kids. Oh no. No, 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 no. You can't you can't do it. You have to protect the kids. You have to protect the children. We don't need no education. <laughs> Kids are smarter than you think, right? Kids are a lot smarter than you think, right? You don't have to protect the kids. Just protect your, just stop, stop the, the propaganda and the bullshit, right? And just stop the crime. Stop locking people up. Empty the jails. Empty the jails, right? You don't have to build a wall anymore, right? The immigrants, the immigrants will be selling you weed over the, over the fucking, you got to walk, so, so Mexico, right? Mexico does it first, right? You go down, you go down, all you got to do is visit the wall, right? The remaining wall, right? You go down to the fence, the fence that has a hole in it, right? You fucking, you stick your $5 bill in the fucking, the Mexican wall, right? Out comes a $5 worth of pot, right? It was, it was a good idea, right? Mexican is good. Mexico wall, right? Fucking the Mexico wall. You visit the wall where you could buy anything. I was fucking right to the wall, man. I love it. Because it's legal on the Mexico side. And then when you buy it here, hey, well, you know, then you get, you can, if you're lucky, you won't get locked up. So it's food for thought, man. I think it's a great idea. I think, you know, decriminalizing, stop treating people like criminals, man. It's not right, man. It's not right. It's not the right thing to do, man. It's fucking America. I landed a free home of the brave, right? Marcus Conte reporting.